Hyvää huomenta. Minä olen Marja Laine ja minä vastaan Boeingin teollisuusyhteistyöohjelmista ympäri maailmaa. Tervetuloa kaikille median edustajille ja kiitos Ilmavoimille esittelystä ja sekä koko Boeingin puolesta kiitoksia tästä mahdollisuudesta päästä näyttämään Block 3 Super Hornetin ja Growlerin suorituskykyjä seuraavien päivien aikana. Also in English, uh, a very warm welcome uh, to the international media present here today. And of course, Mr. Ambassador, thank you so much uh, for being here today, for your support, for your wonderful opening remarks, uh, and certainly for supporting the bilateral defense relationship between Finland and the United States. As everybody knows, the Boeing company has a very strong history here in Finland. It was almost 30 years ago that Finland made the decision to purchase the F-18 Hornet as its frontline fighter for the Finnish Air Force. And the F-18 has served our country well here. But I'm also very proud of the enduring partnerships that were developed as a result of that program. Not just the partnership between and the relationship between the US government and the Finnish government, but the US Navy with the Finnish Defense Forces, but also with Boeing and the Finnish defense industry. It was through the Hornet program and the related industrial program that came with it that we developed a significant amount of technology transfer and know-how transfer that came here to Finland, allowing the Finnish uh, Air Force to be able to continue to maintain its indigenous defense capabilities and the autonomous uh, maintenance of the aircraft. Uh, this thereby safeguarding the security of supply, something that it is very important to Finland, as you heard this morning. But what I'm most proud of, and particularly as a Finn, uh, because this is inherent to the Finnish culture, I'm very proud of the fact that the Boeing company has kept every promise it has ever made to Finland. Starting with the delivery of the flawless execution and performance of that aircraft production program, we delivered those F-18s on time, on schedule, within budget, and we delivered an industrial participation program that delivered more than three and a half billion dollars worth of economic benefits back into the Finnish economy, with over 220 Finnish companies that were participants in that program. We delivered it, again, ahead of schedule and exceeding our original commitments. And I know that today is not about history, but I do believe that as we continue through this process, it is important, it is of significant value to also know that when there is an acquisition of this magnitude and significance, uh, to make sure that you have a trusted and proven partner. And so with that, we turn to the future. Boeing will love to continue to be that proven, trusted partner uh, as we offer the Super Hornet and the Growler to Finland. And you will learn more about that today. But in a nutshell, if I have to summarize, what is it that we are offering? We are offering a combat proven multi-role fighter that is particularly well suited for the Finnish operating environment with game-changing capabilities and technology that will come with a growler being introduced into the region. And with it, we will also introduce an industrial participation program that will leverage and take advantage of the past success with a proven successful model with our current defense industry partners right here in Finland that will once again ensure and safeguard the security of supply for Finland. And particularly, the other aspect of that is that it will also guarantee the low operating cost for the sustainment that we'll maintain within the operations budget of the Finnish Air Force. So there is a lot at stake here, and it is absolutely critical for us that we bring our best foot forward, and we want to, more than anything else, continue this relationship with Finland. So with that, I'm going to turn over uh, the next remarks to Captain Becker of the U.S. Navy, and you will hear more uh, about uh, from our Boeing team, and I will also be happy to share more comments later in the day on industrial participation specifically.